Alabama has never had this much rain. It's been pouring, you guys. So this record rain, it's not just costing people's lives, it's also taking our plans for the campground and turning them completely upside down. We plan, God laughs. No. No. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. And long story short, we sold most of our possessions in pursuit of freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, you guys. It is. And guys, we owe you an apology. I mean, I'm sorry we've been MIA. We have been missing in action. We're exhausted. A lot has been going on. And um, we're going to tell you what's been going on. And uh, most importantly, how it's affecting our plans. Because everything that we thought we had planned has completely it's completely the opposite yeah it's flipped on its head we got so much rain for a period of over four days that our roads completely washed out on us we had a great plan we thought but god's kind of blessing us with number one seeing how much work we have to do we were able to look at where the storm drainage goes on this campground but we also know that we got to make some adjustments we will not be able to build the first top portion of the campground remember the 24 sites we were going to put up top and we're just going to leave the sites that are down open we can no longer do that we cannot risk having people come here um, especially a lot of people and have this place wash out on us so so the locals have told us that they have never seen this much rain in their lives and we're talking about four or five generations here in Idra, alabama but guys i'll tell you we were stuck in the rv for four days and it just kept raining and raining and raining i've been in hurricanes before i haven't seen that much rain and you guys know when you're inside an rv it is loud i mean it was pounding so mercedes and i really enjoy sleeping in the rv when it's raining that hard but man it just wouldn't stop yeah because the campground has been closed for nine to twelve years we're not quite sure what has happened is is that a lot of that scent sentiment the the, the dirt the mud it kind of grew up through the road base. And so when we first got to the park, it just looked like a grassy field. We couldn't even find the roads when we first got here. So what we decided to do was to go ahead and kill the grass on the roads. Well, that was a great idea, but not right before you get a storm like we do. <laughs> because what happened is the roads completely turned to mush, right? Yeah. That grass was the only thing that was holding that base together. So we could drive around on it, even, even if it was a little wet. But we had gotten so much rain, and because we had killed the grass on top of the roads, mm -hmm. what happened was is it just turned into slick, slick mud. I couldn't even drive around in this lower part of my truck without being a four-wheel driver. It, it, it perks very, very slow. We still, after six days, still have some running water running in certain places around the park. I've been yeah. able to use the tractor to kind of dig out little swales and control where that water's starting to go. Now, you know, this we believe that the that the rain, that much heavy rain was a blessing to us because we were able to go out during the storm, look around at the park, see where that water's going, right? And 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 decide where we're going to start channeling that water so that the campsites don't get water on them. We also plan on putting 6 inches of new road base over what's already here we've already got a good four to six inch base it's right below the grass and the mud what we need to do is basically take a tractor or a bulldozer and just take the top one to two inches of mud off the old road base then we'll turn that road base over chop it up a little bit and then add another six inches of chert on top of the roads we're going to be putting in some culverts and which is great because now we know where that water is going so we can help divert that water and put that water where we want it, you know, which is in different culverts around the campground. Another thing that's been going on behind the scenes that we really haven't touched on is just all the insanity that we have. So we are a team of two at the moment that we're looking to change that. And since we've had our new memberships, we're providing wholesale pricing to RV Odd Squad members, our founders, our advisory board, right? Well, we're having to learn things that like I've never had to learn before, like tax exemptions, drop shipping, how to correctly tax for drop shipping. This is not my area of expertise. And while I'm a quick learner, you can only do so much. So needless to say, this has been like the perfect storm, not just like literally, but also figuratively and emotionally 
that we just hit a wall. But luckily, we're not all in a bad place at the same time. So we have our Odd Squad members here that are like, let us help you work on this house. You brought the reinforcements. <laughs> Look at all we're those here. cleaning supplies, yay. yay. Clean, clean, clean. Get to work, kid. You guys are getting us out of our depression. <laughs> And being stuck in the RV during all that rain, it's not good for the psyche. So. so the road base was right below one or two inches of complete slick mud. We couldn't even hardly drive around the campground, let alone have two RV Odd Squad members, members come into the park um, to visit with us. And I ended up having to pull one of them out with a tractor. Nice, nice, nice. You gotta turn to John. You gotta turn to John. You gotta turn to John. You gotta turn to him. You gotta turn to him. You gotta turn to him. Keep turning 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 to him. Keep. Stop. Stop. The whole idea that we can just limp on what's existing has been thrown out the window. But um, now we have to figure out our new plan and where we go from here. So the heroes of the day were actually the RV Odd Squad. Yeah, we had two members come in. Now, now, now granted, it's, it's Saturday or Sunday, close to when the rain had finally stopped, but the whole campground was falling apart. And we remembered that we had two members coming in. They texted me saying, hey, remember, you told us it was good to come in. So we were like panicked. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it ended up being a blessing in disguise because those RV Odd Squad members, what do they do for us? I mean, they think we help them, but they helped us so they, much more. They yeah. lifted our spirits. They forced us to drive around and look at the beautiful nature. They forced us to take some time off. We broke bread. We had dinner. We had lunch. We showed them all over the campground. Guys, the rivers were, were absolutely raging. They weren't cricks or creeks anymore. They turned into like rivers. Yeah. They, Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. See that? That's so cool. I might have to go with a full drive. I think you will. <laughs> yeah, this is, we've never seen it this wet. Yeah, this is going to be really slippery. And this is the third time we've seen it. Holy moly. It's like whitewater rafting down there. Oh, <laughs> that's not <laughs> normally like I, uh, that. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. But, you know, we can't tell you how much it means to us, those of you who have come and visited us yep. we work constantly we haven't taken a day off in nine or ten weeks mm -hmm. and it was really funny because we actually played with the rv odd squad members for a couple of days but suddenly something else happened 
we really didn't do anything but play with the RV Ops Club members, and by the end of the third day, we were even more tired. Which is ironic, because normally when you take some time off, it like recharges you, but I think we were so burnt out and so spent <laughs> that we took a little bit of time off, and our minds and our bodies were like, we need more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so pretty much this week, for the last five or six days, we and there's no way that we're we can. We're jelly up here. Yeah, <laughs> we're just mush, we're jelly, and there's no way that we can completely take a full day off. We try not to think too much about how much work we have, yeah. because it's just overwhelming. We have so many different things going on. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little bit of time off. We're gonna fly back to Denver. Um, we've been here nine weeks now since we last saw our families. We're gonna shoot it in Denver for a week or so and really try to get some rest. We can't tell you what it has meant to us, all of you. We really believe that we couldn't have done any of this without you guys. Um, this is our campground. It's all of our campground together and we're so excited. We know that it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take us a little bit of time. But we're just doing one thing at a time, and we'll get closer and closer and closer. Yeah. All our RV Odd Squad members and those who um, have pre-purchased time here, we're going to keep you in the loop. The website's being built. The reservation software is being built, which is great, because then we're going to know who's coming into town and when. I've been keeping this stuff in my head. Which is a scary it's a proposition. Really, yeah, scary proposition. But I can't tell you what it meant for our friends, Justin and Asha, and... Um, John and Janice. and Janice, Janie, they call her Janie. Yeah. What the strangest thing about our RV Odd Squad members is that we've never met them before. Yeah. But every single time we spend some time with these people, we're in yeah. love with them. It's like we've known each other feels, our whole lives. Yeah. Um, we're blown yeah. away by the type of people that we're attracting. It's like they're diff They're all different and unique, but the core values are like the same. It's and incredible. Our people. Yeah, and, and Jenny said something at dinner Saturday night. She said, how can we meet other RV Odd Squad members? Because when yeah. RV Odd Squads, when RV Odd Squad members meet other RV Odd Squad members, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like we're family all across yeah. the board. We have so much in common. We cannot believe that God has blessed us with so many beautiful, beautiful people. And we can't tell you how much we love you and appreciate your support, love, and prayers. So... Now we're preparing for Hurricane Ida. See you in the next video.